Hey, my name is Peter. My name is Sarah. And this is the, the Broker Up Project. <laughs> and it's not the hub grass. No, we're on the Polynesian grass. It's the new place to be. What were we gonna do today? Oh, we were gonna do a QA that we got tagged in. But sneak peek, doing that Thursday. Yeah. Because Peter's gonna be recording the podcast, we're not gonna go out, we're just gonna do the QA. Oh. And I'm going to the Astros. Braves game on Thursday during the day with work. So booyah, I've never been to Wide World of Sports. So we thought we were going to go first to the bonfire here to roast marshmallows and to have s'mores, but it wasn't going on anymore, so we just had cold s'mores. Still delicious, still same ingredients if you ever want to try it. And then I found out by a little search of the old Google.com, there's a cool movie playing at eight o'clock tonight at uh, Grand Floridian. So those two cast members are rolling away this with more this more stuff. So the Grand Floridian had a fire that just finished and... Ten, one minute ago. Yeah. So I guess, like anyone who wants to know, 6.30 to 7.30, every day at the Grand Floridian, Polynesian is only certain days. So don't make the mistake like us. You can't see it on the camera probably, but they've got the little cocoa banners. Hey, we didn't say what we were doing. We got about a 30 minute time period to kill before Coco. So we were fingers crossed that the um, piano player was going to be inside Grand Floridian. And we can't tell if he's just starting or just ending, but he is. I think he's starting. He's right there. I think he is starting. So we'll have to wait and see. stuff going on. Peter went to go get a fuel rod, but I'm getting our spot. I got some towels so that we could sit on them and, you know, just casually watching the fireworks. And yeah, we just got yeah. It's, it's a premiere party. It's the first time we've played Coco. And here we are. Miss Sarah just dancing. She went, ooh, listen, because we can hear Spirit of Aloha. We're walking back to Polynesian. Oh, like the Earl's in small world. Confession, honesty hour. <laughs> One, I feel like I have a tan. Second night in a row I've said that, but um, I haven't run in over a week, guys. I need to be honest with you because this is how I know I'm gonna like, get back on and start running again because I just need to be honest. And if I feel bad that, that Sarah knows I haven't been running and I know myself I haven't been running and now all of you, so I've been running, then I got, I, gonna run. I gotta run. But we've but, come to a conclusion. But, but there's but, always a but. There's always a but. I have to run in the morning. I just have to. It just makes sense with our schedules and the temperature and like where my ooh. You okay? <laughs> yes. Where good. my energy level is. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> neither of us, like we have such a hard time waking up. Like, we can get up when we like know we have to. 
But like when it's something like running, where it's like our choice, it's a little bit hard. I can just like half asleep turn off the alarm. But Sarah's phone is that iPhone X10 thing, so I just keep screenshotting it when I go to turn off the alarm. And it's like a million, she wakes up with like a million screenshots because it just snoozes it because I don't wake up and turn it off. I just snooze it, snooze it, snooze it. So if you have any advice on how to get ourselves awake, tonight I'm going to try to put our phones like... We to bed like, early. We did though last night. Yeah, that's we, we went to bed at like 10.30 last night. No, we did not. We went to bed at like 11.15. It was, it was before 11. I remember looking at the clock when we signed off. And it was like 10.43. Okay. So by the time we got ready and went to bed, it, was, it couldn't have been 11. And I still, like, we still didn't get up in time. And tonight I'm going to try to put our phones, because those are our alarms, like across the bedroom. So if they wake us up, I'll have to like physically get up to get them. But guys, it's been a struggle of mine my whole life. Sarah literally would like, in high school even, <laughs> would call my cell phone and make I sure I was awake. Sister. She'd call the, my sister. <laughs> his sister would call And down. wake me up. And now, I'm rubbing off on her because now she doesn't wake up. Or maybe it's that I wake I up before it's her. I like I really, I make my own schedule. So like, if I wake up a little bit later, then I just don't, like, I work around it. I don't have to be anywhere. So, treat every day like Saturday, but don't treat every morning like Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> because... Then that's trouble. Hey, I was up and at it before 8 o'clock. Like, at the computer, like, working before. Yeah, because you got the vlog up at, like, 10 a.m. You did great. <laughs> Coco is amazing. Is that the, what I wanted to say when I turned this camera on before I got on a sea hour? That it's was beautiful. So that was our Stories first time great. seeing it, like, after in the after, theaters. And that was the first time Grand Floridian played it. Yeah, it was wonderful. <sighs> okay. We're going in for cartwheel trial number two. <laughs> I got some pointers from yesterday's video in the comments, so thank you for, who was it? I think it was just Kat, right? <laughs> and a gymnastics coach. Play and a gymnastics coach, so. <laughs> so are you gonna lead with your right side now? I think so. Okay. I'm like, which way do I put my hand? Just out? <laughs> yeah. I don't think sand is the greatest place to do this. You want to do the grass? Should I run? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You did? That's all the background. I got this. That was better! Did you snap your ankle? No. Did I, look like I, did? I thought I heard it. No, that was like every other joint. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta, I guess, I put. Think I to commit to it more. Yeah, and I think you gotta put your feet up higher so you land on your feet, not your butt. I don't know why I can't move my legs. <laughs> That's how I am. <laughs> Good. Did your butt hit the floor? No. Good job. Last one. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> you used your momentum that time. <laughs> I did. <laughs> well, there's where we are, guys. Day two training. <laughs> Gymnastics. Kent said that um, it's part of his marathon training so he could cartwheel across the finish line. If I, if I, <laughs> between the two viewers that left comments, if we can, all three of us can pile all this through the comments, I will cross one of the four races for the marathon doing a cartwheel. Okay. For you two and Sarah. Okay, Sarah's trying to be my inspiration slash kind of showing off. <gasps> You did, you did just say, do you want to record me doing somersaults the whole way? They're cartwheels. Oh, sorry, cartwheels. Do, can, do you want to film me doing cartwheels the whole way back to the car? All right, let's hit it. Let's do six in a row. One, two, wait, you just said surgery. I thought we said we weren't doing this. Three. <laughs> she said this early and I was like, you can't do that. You just had surgery two weeks ago. And she's like, oh yeah. Um, good thing we're going to the doctor on Monday. How do you feel? Good. Good. We're back home. Mm -hmm. And I have a question for you all. If we are home watching a Tim Tracker and Jen Tracker a home vlog and we vlog at home while watching a home vlog. Where it's going. What is that called? Kind of, kind of like vlog conception, but home mm -hmm. vlogception. 
We're going to bed. We're snoozy. Peter's gonna wake up, run tomorrow, we're gonna feel great. We're gonna set 18 alarms throughout the entire apartment. One outside, one inside the car, he one inside the fridge. He used to hate the alarms and bark at us until we woke up, but... Now she's immune to it. My, my, now she's a teenager. My immunities have spread to both these girls. But thanks for joining our, like, relaxed day. Yeah, we have lots of treats. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.